How is it that you have existed for a hundred years and you still don't know how to do your job? I mean, think about it like this. Most people get hired for a job, right? And in a matter of a few weeks or a few months, they obtain the necessary knowledge to do that job accordingly. But when it comes to Warner Brothers, it seems to me that they have learned nothing for the past 100 years. That's right, baby. This studio continues to fail and it shows every time new news breaks regarding this company's financial situations. Now, look, I know for a fact many people out there believe that Warner Brothers is going to bounce back like an overblown basketball, right? But in reality, this studio is losing so much, it may very well be at a point of no return when it comes down to this studio's financial stability. Like for real. Now, as you all know, last month, the NBA struck a deal with that of Amazon, Disney, and I believe CNN. I can't remember which one it was. And Warner Brothers was furious. They were so furious. They decided to sue the NBA, claiming that they had the rights to the NBA broadcast. But in reality, they did not read the fine print correctly. And I'm going to tell you exactly what is going on with this situation. But before I do, do your boy oh, one major favor. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you are going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators have uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button to help me out with that algorithm, baby. Now let's get into today's news. The NBA has clapped back at that of Warner Brothers, and they have did it so beautifully. Let's get into this. This article comes from the New York Times. It is titled, NBA Asks Judge to Dismiss Lawsuit Filed by Warner Brothers Discovery Regarding Matching Rights. The NBA has asked the judge to dismiss the lawsuit filed by Warner Brothers Discovery last month against the lead that wants the court to enforce what Warner Brothers Discovery says are matching rights that would allow it to retain a package of the NBA media rights in the next national media deal, which kicks in with the 2025 and 2026 season. Last month, the lead ratified a new 11-year, roughly $75 billion set of contracts with Disney, NBC, and Amazon for its upcoming national media rights deal. $75 billion. That is absolutely insane. Now we know how the NBA could afford to pay a LeBron James $60 million a year or a Steph Curry $60 million a year. Like it is insane how much revenue the NBA is taking in at this very moment. Warner Brothers Discovery, which owns TNT and has been an NBA rights holder for 35 years, was not able to grab a rights package despite having exclusive negotiation rights for a 45 day window that ended April the 22nd. Quote, we maintain our position that the NBA actions are justified, unjustified, I'm sorry, and we strongly believe we have fulfilled our contractual rights to match the third party offer, unquote. A TNT spokesperson said in a statement, not only is it our contractual right, but it is in the best interest of the fans who wants to continue to enjoy our industry leading NBA content with the choice and the flexibility we offer them through our, through our widely distributed platform, including TNT and Max. We will file our opposition in the coming weeks, unquote. Uh, so they're big mad. Warner Brothers Discovery says its 2014 agreement with the NBA gives it the ability to match a third party offer. And it is attempting to enforce that in the New York County Supreme Court for the package of the NBA sold to Amazon earlier this year. Goes to show you that this studio is bleeding support, right? They're so upset that the NBA has left them. They're like, man, no, we go sue. 
we go sue. But what they fail to realize is they have no right to do so. Let's get down to here. All right, the NBA is the latest legal filing said that the Warner Brothers Discovery does not actually have the rights with regards to Amazon because the matching rights clause in its 2014 deal did not give TBS the rights to match Amazon's offer. Since Amazon intends to broadcast the NBA over the Internet on a subscription video on demand service, the NBA claims that Warner Brothers Discovery rights are only to linear cable tv distribution so right then and there the nba outsmarted the soon to be broke warner brothers discovery you see how that goes see warner brothers discovery don't have any money man look at their stock let, you know what let me pull this up let me, let me put it up let me put it up wbd stock where is it right now where is it? Seven ninety seven. So it went up a little bit from the six sixty six from two weeks ago, but it's at seven ninety seven. Seven hundred and ninety seven pennies. As I told you before, you may very well have that in your car or your penny bank. This company is failing. Right now, it is heading towards a path of non-existence. This is why they're trying to sue the NBA. They need that revenue, man. They do. They need those ratings for their stock purposes. No one wants to touch Warner Brothers. And that comes to my next point. Companies are trying to move away from that of Warner Brothers. They do not want to be tied to a failing studio anymore. Think about it like this. How long has the NBA been on TNT? Did you ever think that it would be a time where the NBA would not be on TNT? Growing up, I look forward to those TNT games, baby. And was looking forward to them this year. But guess what? It ain't happening. It is not happening. Because Warner Brothers is a failing studio. They failed DC. They failed the NBA, you might well say, they're going to fail that of Harry Potter where they have with the Fantastic Beast portion of that franchise. Those last two films sucked. They absolutely sucked. They're failing everything at this very moment. And companies, they're like, look, we don't want to be bothered with that. We do not want to be tied with your brand anymore. Let's get ghosts, baby. We out of here. While y'all over there failing, we need to get with somebody who's actually succeeding in this damn industry. Not Warner Brothers. Yeah, people are looking at these little hits every now and then that the studio is having at the movie theater. But they need to understand, they're losing so much money everywhere else. Every profit, every little bit of it is getting eaten alive for the bill that they have on their table. Right now, Warner Brothers are homeowners who's like nine months behind on the mortgage. You're never going to get out of that hole. You're going to have to file bankruptcy and you're going to be up for sale once again. And speaking of the studio as a whole, you know, James Gunn made an announcement that he isn't going to have to do no reshoots right on that of Superman legacy. Stop playing, bro. I'm smart enough to understand that you don't have the money for it. You ain't got no money for no reshoots. Stop playing. Stop acting like you're the smartest guy in the room. When people like me can understand exactly what is going on with this studio and what is going on is it is circling the drain. I don't understand how anyone can look at this situation and say, look, they're going to be better off in the future and not understand that. Warner Brothers stock is at $7.97 compared to that of Disney. So I give you guys a good idea of what a studio stands at. Disney stock is at $89.49. That is $82 higher than that of Warner Brothers. Let's look at Amazon. Let's look at Amazon. Amazon stock. 
Amazon stock is sitting at $170 per share. Think about that. Warner Brothers, $7. Amazon, $170. Why would any company wants to inf want to infinity? <laughs> I messed up. Why do any company wants to be connected to you? Think about that. They want to be connected to this. These stock prices. Not $7 and, and a few cents, man. That is ridiculous. Warner Brothers was at the pinnacle of the mountain at one point in time. Now, they're at the bottom. That's right, baby. They're all the way down there with all the monsters and, and all the people out there who's hungry and starving and stuff. Who, who's trying to get back to the top. And I'm not trying to say that to offend anyone. I'm just giving you a metaphor here. They're starving down there while other companies are steadily going up. Yeah, they might go down a little bit, but they're going to go up. They're going to go up. Not Warner Brothers, though. Not Warner Brothers. They will continue to go down. Yeah, they're going to see a little bit of light every so often, but they're going to continue to go down. Every decision that they make, they're going to continue to go down. Everything that they do, they're going to continue to go down. Every time a film is released, they're going to continue to go down. Warner Brothers is the only studio that could have a successful film at the box office like Barbie and make a billion dollars and their stock prices still will go down. I'm your boy o. Hopefully you have watched this video all the way to and help you brought that algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please be sure to do so. I'm trying to reach that magical number 10,000 subscribers. So I'll be highly appreciative if you help me cross over that threshold by hitting that subscribe button. And if you're all going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button to help me out that algorithm, baby. But in the comments below, let me know what you think about this situation. Why? Should Warner Brothers believe that they have the right to sue that of the NBA? And also, tell me, how do you feel about those stock prices, baby, compared to everyone else? And always remember, let the love on Tom Roulette. That means let the good times roll. But let me know in the comments below.